Hey there, it's another of these wonderful videos in my series looking at operating a Cohesity cluster and the things that I've learned along the way. As I was chatting with my friends at Cohesity, they pointed out that uh, I'm now running an out-of-date version of the uh, virtual edition. Um, time pa passes and these things, uh, these things do uh, become out of date. I'm using the 6.00a release, which as you can see from the release date is a July uh, 2018 release and we're now in November and whilst the mainstream release is a little less frequent there are quite a lot of releases to enable new features. So I now have access to the Cohesity support site and that's where I go to get my downloads. And I need to log on. And then from the support site, I'll go to the downloads site. So it's a cross through to a different site and I've got to authorize the access. And here it is. So there's two categories of, of downloads available. There's the long-term long support, the LTS releases, which are recommended for production environments. And uh, this goes back to the ancient days of December 2017 as being a release date and then the current 5.0 release which was released in June this year. Of course that's the most recent um, long-term support release. I'm going to be running a feature release because I'm already running a 6.0. I'm going to update to the 6.0 uh, whatever the latest 6.0 is. So these, these ones are uh, every three month uh, update for, for features, whereas the long-term support are released every six months, and that means that we must be due for a new release, a new long-term support release, sometime in the next few months, we would guess. Down here is all of the updates. I could just download a new OVA and deploy that, and the only thing is I've got a whole heap of backup history in my existing uh, appliance. Uh, I haven't looked into whether I could just reattach the, the two hard drives, the uh, performance tier and capacity tier hard drives, the MDK files, into the appliance and whether it would, would happily read all of that config out. I don't need to because I'm just going to apply the update. Now notice that the update is the same update for all editions, so whether it's the virtual edition or physical hardware or any of the cloud editions. Uh, I'm not so sure about the cloud editions, but I definitely know it works. The same update works on the physical appliances as works on the uh, virtual appliance version, which is really good because it means that what I'm showing you with the virtual appliance also applies to the cluster. We'll let that download and then we'll come back and take a look at it. I guess while it was downloading we should have really looked at the uh, what's new link on the documentation site as well as probably had a look at the uh, fixed issues list. I had the same one. So um, same tab open, so we've just got the, the fixed issues and we can see a series of issues here uh, rolling back in the previous releases to see everything that's fixed since the 6.0a release that I had installed. So good information here on what was fixed as well as what's new in terms of new features. Naturally this list is going to change fairly fast with the uh, the release version rather than the long-term support, the feature release version. So there's good information about what's in here, and uh, yeah, plenty of plenty of data on what's changed. So rocking back to my cluster upgrade, um, I was kind of expecting this screen to do an online update for me, but I can imagine why I'd want to validate the exact version that I was getting. So we're going to use the get new package option and say I want to upload a file. So we select the file, go to our downloads folder, uh, there we go, and we've got that 6.01c um, release, which is the latest current release. We'll open him and say upload package and upgrade. 1.6 gig gets uploaded into the appliance, and then the update process will begin. Keeping in mind that the release of the virtual appliance is a single node and consequently 
there is actually going to be an outage during the upgrade. If you're doing this with a cluster um, of physical nodes, then it would roll around the physical nodes and update one at a time, wait for it return to service and for all the services to be up and in sync with the rest of the cluster before it did the next. Uh, but in this instance, I've only got a single node and consequently there is going to be an outage. So it's what, 5 to 2 p.m. here at the moment. And 10 or 15 minutes I'm expecting my cluster to be back again and uh, to be able to show me more status. There will be a status screen in between which we might just capture and um, that'll tell us a little bit about what's going on with the upgrade. There we go, the update has been validated and it's now being installed on the cluster. So in a, a real cluster with multiple nodes, there wouldn't be an outage, but because there's only a single node here, we will see an outage. Now we've got a nice clean return. Get rid of that download. Log back in again. Oh, look at that, we've got an upgrade and process listed. Uh, current release is 6.01.c. Great. That was fairly simple. It's only 2.01, it wasn't even uh, 10 past, so it took about 5 minutes, probably a couple of minutes of outage. Pretty easy process. Download the update package for the release you want to upgrade to. Uh, and then upload it into the cluster and apply it, and the cluster just takes care of it. In this case, single virtual node took care of it in just a few minutes, only probably 10 minutes total time elapsed. Here in New Zealand, it took me longer to download the file into this machine in my lab than it did to actually do the update. Um, this is why I like having my backups local as well, because downloading your backups to restore from the internet can be a little slow. All right, well, that's the uh, version update process. Hopefully this is going to enable me to show you some more features and uh, functionality in the newer release. And stay tuned for more videos around Cohesity and how to operate and uh, run with a Cohesity cluster. See ya.